Minecraft is not just any ordinary game. It's a game that has somehow kept millions of people like myself captivated, inspired, entertained, and coming back for more despite the odds against it. I've been playing Minecraft on and off for over a decade now. Man, I'm getting old. The past year or so, I've been stuck in limbo figuring out if I wanted to return to playing Minecraft and even the content creation again. It was almost like being stuck in the longest line of airplane security and hoping to get through while being judged menacingly by head agent Clifford and sniffed out by Clark the dog. As I stood around and waited for months, finally it clicked why I play Minecraft and made content. Minecraft has always been a game of endless possibilities. It's also a game where I've made lots of memories. To top it off even more, it's the lifelong friends I made through this one single game and arguably through this one single Minecraft server, Afterlife SMP. Once I stopped twiddling my thumbs and made it through my heavenly limbo, it was like I poofed back into existence. Even though I just came back, remembering the basics and slowly enjoying Minecraft again was the journey I had been longing for. Like remembering how to punch a tree. Okay, well, I didn't forget how to do that. I wasn't in retirement for that long now. Besides that, I can't forget the good feeling of what it's like to go mining and just getting diamonds. Or the chaos that is having to remember what keybind is which with all the mods we play with nowadays. Like right there. I didn't mean to hit that button, or at least I think I didn't, yet it pulled up the applications to join the lovely Afterlife SMP server that I'm a part of that content creators can apply to. Okay, let's just send that to the Afterlife to deal with for another day. Let's see, what else do we have on our lovely list to master and enjoy? Bully a skunk? That has to be the most important one on here that I am forgetting. Where are you where? Yeah, hold on. All right, stop, stop, stop. Before we proceed any further, I probably should explain a couple of things. On the Afterlife server, we have a lovely little mod that allows us to turn goat horns into weapons of mass destruction, where I can make them play any audio I want. You might have seen something like this on Hermitcraft with Impulse saying, Get up, it's gonna be Is slow, it? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It, oh my on. god. Wait, 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 stop. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta capture this. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. In our case, we have it set to play. Now the other thing is, we have this guy. Wait, that's me. What can I say? I just love to keep other Afterlife members on their feet and be the server's troublemaker. Now that we got that little tidbit of info, roll the clip. Holding. Oh, bro, my shoulder. Hello. Woo. You dirty rat, you. All right. There we go. There we have it. What? That's what I was trying to do. That's all you, you didn't need scaffold. Oh, I mean, I actually do need the scaffolding. Oh. There's two birds with one stone. Man. All right, Spruce, let's go for a spin now that I mastered some of the basics of Minecraft and content creation again. Uh, let's see what everybody else has been up to on the server and maybe get some food. All right, we got some nice looking houses over here. We, we even got like a horse stable. I know where you can hang out, Spruce. Um, none of them have names though, so I don't know if you should be hanging out the likes of them. But it does look like people have been pretty busy making some houses, maybe some farms too over here and like some nature. Um, we do have Jay Bama over here. I'm not really sure what that's doing over there. I mean, does have a resemblance to me though. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice. We also have a turkey that says Jay. Maybe, maybe I should look into that a little bit more. I'm not really, uh, not, not too familiar with that one. We also got the beautiful town hall right over here made by master architect Blonde Skunk. Oh. Mm, my stomach. Okay, uh, I think my stomach's trying to tell me that we need to get some food right now before it's too late, right, Spruce? So let's let's see what we can find. All right, Spruce. So it looks like our two options are the stinky house and what is this? The Moo Moo Meadows that are or deals are sick. Yeah, I don't know about this one, Kitty Cat. Well, we got one store that has. Caution tape and filth and fumes coming out of it. And then we have another one where I thought it was shaking its head saying that we should go with this shop and just enjoy the green moldy whatever kind of food it is and not too sure about that. So Spruce, I think we are going to have to find some food of our own and I think there needs to be a mayor or something to take care of this problem because I don't know how long this has been going on. 
but I know this definitely was not a thing when I was last playing, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll worry about that later. Uh, I I just need to find some food because these ten lamb chops they're not gonna cut it. I am a very strong burly man. Just look at me. Yeah, so we're just gonna find something real quick. All right, Spruce, let's take a look. Does Puff have any food for us? Oh, oh, rotting flesh, rotting flesh. No, no real food here, Puff. You're kind of disappointing me. Okay, let's go to the next neighbor. All right, Skunk, you gotta have something in here. Okay, uh, half the barrels aren't labeled. Oh, uh, this is gonna make my life a little difficult. We got, uh, I don't think we got any options. Okay, okay, next neighbor, next neighbor. All right, well, I found some food in some of my furnaces. I don't know how old it is, but we're just gonna use it and go with it. Um, and this is no thanks to any of the afterlife members. I mean, like, no food in their houses. Plus, who wants vegetables? I mean, look at that. It doesn't look that scrumptious. Um, but I had something else I wanted us to focus on this episode, if I could speak correctly. I wanted to build a base at spawn. You know, seeing all these lovely builds around us made me realize that I need one as well. So a spawn base, a spawn house, spawn structure, whatever you want to call it, we need one and let's get to it right above this tunnel and also of spawn house. The foundation of our starter base is done. So, like I did kind of preface right there, it is the foundation and not the whole starter base. Now you're probably asking, Jay, why would it only be the foundation? Well, you see, you guys, I feel like by completing all the build in one video, that takes out some of the magic of it. Plus, I don't really have time for that or the brain capacity, so it's just the foundation for now. Uh, so you will see kind of in different spots of the starter base, there are signs that are hung up or maybe even black wool because there is going to be something there. It's just that thing that is supposed to be there is not designed yet. So we do have signs like this kind of indicating something will hopefully be here or at least maybe for decorative purposes, there's nothing. The other thing is that we have this general area over here where it's also blocked off or signed off. And then we also have this black wool area which will hopefully lead to our little control center right over here where we have access to the hangar um, and just can make sure that whatever is happening in the hangar and ships that are leaving and also coming back into the hangar have the proper communications and controls to do so. So we do have a few things to work on in the coming episodes. This is not something that I want to finish in the exact next episode. Uh, it's something that I want to tackle over the course of the next few episodes. And also just to make sure that people are fully aware this is kind of meant to be Star Wars theme, if you haven't exactly picked up on it. This is a Jedi starship right here. This is kind of more of an Imperial hangar in my opinion, but you know, it, it works for the purpose, I think. You know, we have storage and bins and droids and, you know, the control center and potentially more and piping and lights and whatnot. And I think it really kind of encompasses that really well, in my opinion. Plus, we cannot forget the wonderful view that it has over here of Spawn, you know, our typical Spawn houses, J Bama over there. We also have a wild Ash 298 running in the wind with his Naruto hands behind him. We also have the J Turkey over there. We also get like a peek of some of the shops and whatnot to be. Oh, we can still see him. So yeah, pretty nice view and also vantage point around spawn. I mean, it's pretty close to a lot of spawn bases, easily maneuverable. Right next to the spawn nether portal, I mean, what more can you ask for? One of the other things that I did want to mention while we're kind of here at our foundation of the spawn base, I don't know why I really said foundation there, is that I want to give a big shout out, big, massive 
shout out to one of our lovely Afterlife members. One might also call them a master architect, or at least I know I do. It is Blonde Skunk. Holy so smokes. Blonde Skunk and myself actually started on a hangar design for a Star Wars theme kind of project that I was going to have in season three. And this is this hangar is Based on that, for the most part, there are modifications that I made to it with the lighting, some of the block palette choices, and adding storage and the ship designs. But overall, I mean, a large part of this is thanks to him. So big thank you to Blonde Skunk, of course, and he's an Afterlife member producing high quality videos. So highly recommend that you go check him out. And lastly, shout out wise, I want to give a shout out to somebody on Planet Minecraft, and that is Gumly, because he for the most part, designed this lovely Jedi Star Cruiser right here. There are slight modifications that I made to it, but for the most part, this is largely his design. There are changes with the block palette and yeah, the block palette. There are a few additional blocks or mi minor modifications that I made. Uh, this is based on a Jedi uh, Starfighter from like the episode two movie, so Attack the Clones. Uh, you would remember this uh, from Obi-Wan entering and leaving Kamino um, and then also being chased by Jango Fett. So if you don't recall that, then Obi-Wan had like an orange and white kind of Jedi Star Cruiser. While this one, I kind of went with a black, grayish and blue aesthetic and also white, of course. So yeah, big shout out to those two lovely people because for, you know, without them, you know, a large part of this build wouldn't be done. I did also want to call out that, you know, with this being a Star Wars-y kind of build, what does that really mean? Like, does that mean it's a one-off thing? Not exactly. That means the rest of the season, or at least going into season five, or I mean the rest of season five, uh, we will be having an actual Star Wars kind of base. What exactly is that? I'm not ready to reveal because I'm not quite sure on what that fully is. I have a good idea, the location in mind, but I have not fully agreed with it. Plus, you know, we got a few episodes to worry about it still. But yeah, so now we have a place to call home on the server and what is he doing over there? Well, that's kind of creepy. He kind of turned as soon as I started looking at him. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, yeah, so... I think there's some other things that I have to show you guys, so I will let you guys mosey on over to that. Let me just see real quickly. Is he still looking? Oh. Where'd he go? The server has been descending in the chaos lately. And I think there's only one way to fix that, and that is by me beginning my campaign for Mirror today. Now thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video.